Greetings friends, it's Tuesday and it's time for the drive home. So, yesterday's little experiment kind of proves two things. One, I can use a headset and uh, it kind of makes all the audio like just me, which I guess is kind of good. Uh, you don't get any background noise, you don't get any engine noise, you don't get anything, which might be great if the weather is nice enough and I want to drop the top, as it were, and drive with the top down and the windows down and everything like that. And that might be great. Um, however, it also sounds like I'm on a phone, which makes sense. I'm on a phone. But it's um, it's not quite the same quality. It's, you know, it just, it just doesn't sound very good. So, I don't know. You let me know. Which one do you prefer? Um, right now I'm going sans headset because... All this time I've been recording off of the phone's internal microphone, unknowingly, and uh, that was working. I mean, you can still hear me pretty good. It picks me up really nice. It picks up all the engine noise and everything like that, but I think that was kind of the... I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, tell me if you think otherwise, but I feel that was kind of the charm of the video. Is it was just, you know, you're in the car with me. Uh, and so you get the, the engine noise and, and you get you know, the bouncing around in the Jeep and all that other kind of stuff, so. <sighs> Whatever fits, I think. I might switch back to the headset, maybe, if I find real nice background music <laughs> to kind of put in and kind of fill the dead air, as it were. Um, but yeah, okay, so enough about that. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what shall we talk about today? Well, the big thing that happened yesterday, as it were, is the debates, if you want to call them that. Uh, I didn't actually watch them last night. I actually watched them this morning, uh, along with John Oliver's bit about their individual, uh, what was it, their scandals, the different scandals that they have. And, uh, man, um, yeah, it's still, I'm incredibly disappointed in the candidates we have. It's, it's one of those things where <laughs> I kind of feel like that the, the the dark night, as it were, is happening to us where it's not, you know, these aren't the candidates we need, but the ones we deserve. Uh, this is kind of where we've gotten ourselves, and, and this is where we've ended up. Um, we've rutted ourselves into a two-party system, uh, which we shouldn't be in, but there we are, and because they've got such a lockdown on it, the independence with interesting ideas and, and bringing something new to the table get thrown out the window. Actual candidates that could change the system <clears throat> get shoved out of the way for people who are firmly in the establishment. You could say... I mean, you could say that Trump was somebody out of left field who was shaking up the system... But honestly, I don't... He's such a goober that it's just... I'm not even sure how he got in in the first place. It was just one of those things where I almost honestly feel like there were so many people going, well, we'll do this for a laugh. And then it went as far as it did, and we're like, oh, oh, shit. It's, it's too late to call it a joke. Um, and now we've got Pence as the VP, or whatever, running for VP. And uh, he's not much better least he's a politician, but that's definitely not a positive. Uh, career politicians are not great things. Um, and, and well, in, in, our, in our system, career politicians are not great things. If you have, I, I, think, I think the main difference is what we're looking at is we have too many politicians and not very many statesmen. We don't have true leaders. We don't have people who are looking for the betterment of the nation for the betterment of the people that they're supposed to represent. We're looking for, we're looking at people who have made their lives and careers based on kowtowing to the special, special interest groups and collecting that, and collecting that uh, donation monies and fat stacks of donation monies. And then, you know, as soon as they're past their prime or they get voted out or whatever, they slide on over to K Street and become lobbyists and returning right back to the field uh, instead of offering, or instead of getting the, the money, they offer the money 
as it were, uh, because now they've got all their friends inside the system, and so it makes it easier to do. And the the debate's almost kind of um, focused on that in in the way that nobody really had any good answers for anything, at least in my opinion. Everybody had, says they've got plans, but there's so much bitching and so much fighting, and, and especially in Trump, because Trump handled that thing like an, a petulant fourth grader. His vocabulary is terrible. I mean, it was difficult to count sentences that didn't contain tremendous because <laughs> it was in there a lot. It was su surprising. We're in a tremendously bad position. All of his pol policies are tremendously good. He's a tremendous person and he tremendously sucks balls. I, I it's just, it's, it's a joke. It's, he's a walking joke, an absolute waste of spray tan. I, I don't know where that comes from. And you know, all this, I really can't say Hillary's much better. I mean, at least she's got some pedigree to her. You know, she know, she knows how the system works. She operates in it. And she might actually be willing to work with people. Especially since Bernie Sanders gave her such a freaking run for her money. She had to change some of her policies because the Sanders guys, myself included as it were, um, liked the policy changes that he proposed and the way he wanted things ran to such a degree that she had to actually change her tone so she could hope to keep their votes. And even now, it's not looking too good as far as that's concerned. But, man, uh, if you want to see what's what's becoming of the U.S., go watch those debates because it's uh, it's there. It's, it's a shining example of what has happened to our city on the hill. Anyways, let's not be depressed. Let's go get something nice to drink. I'll see you at home.